Whoa, excuse me. Sliding, you can see it's April here in the Adirondacks and there's still snow and ice on the trail. Right on the main trail is the privy, and this privy will serve campsite 6A and 6B. See the site markers actually past the junction of the trails. Immediately past the privy, narrow trail leads off to the right. That's the trail down to the campsite. The trail down to the campsite is fairly level. It has a few roots in it. The underbrush is pushed back pretty far from the trail, so you won't get wet brushing up against it on a dewy morning or in the rain. The site's a fair distance off the main trail. Before you get to the fire ring, you have a nice, fairly level, flat, grassy area tucked off the side of the trail where you could put a tent. And then a little further on, off to the left, it's an even better, bigger area where you could put a tent. There's the fire ring. That's maybe 15 meters. There's a little bit of underbrush between the fire ring and where your camping pads would be. That's nice. It'll help protect it from any embers or sparks that might fly. Your tent pads look fairly well-drained and level. You still have grass cover here, which is nice. It won't be all muddy. Because you're fairly well surrounded by evergreens and undergrowth, you'll be protected from the wind reasonably well. So if you're behind the fire ring, facing the water, you're facing more or less west, sunset will be in front of you. Again, if you're facing the water, sunrise will be from behind you. We'll have a really open view of the night sky here. And you'll have bright sunlight all day long if the sun is out. Maybe it's your seat. That would be kind of hard on your bum. Head down to the water. There's just a little bit of a slope. You've got a gravel bottom here. Although the bottom near shore is fairly pebbly and gravelly, I think it's going to be a, a boggy or a mucky area on the bottom when you get farther out. The main body of the lake is out that way. It can be fairly shallow in here. People could canoe up in here. This should be a fairly quiet campsite. There are no artificial lights that you'll see from this campsite. It's screened from the lake, so you shouldn't hear or see much boat traffic at all. People probably won't come this far up the flow in a motorboat, at least not very often. Your next nearest campsite is going to be up the stream in the other direction. It's well screened by all those trees. You shouldn't see anybody from that direction, and you probably won't hear them unless they're being particularly loud. The woods around the site for quite a ways are made up of fairly immature pines, trees growing fairly close together. Not a great spot to hang your food in there. Across the main trail from the site, the woods open up a bit and you get some more mature trees. And they'll give you some better options for hanging your food.